fans are going to be so excited to see Laurie face off with Michael Myers. Again. It is a face off. It is definitely a collision. The first movie was a collision between innocence and evil. This movie is a collision between trauma and the result of trauma and evil. What were those final showdown scenes in Laurie's house like to film? They were intense. I cracked a rib in the process of one of those. You know, you start to forget because it's a lot of it is at night and you know, you're bashing into each other quite a bit. Like every action horror genre movie, there's a lot of emotion, there's a lot of feeling, there's a lot of hyperventilating because the minute you start running, you know, there's that moment in all those movies, the tension is ramped up, and that's usually the moment people start running. You know what I mean? They're all walking and everything's good, and then when the bad thing happens, <clears throat> that means you start running, but that means you start breathing heavily. So every day, all day long, you're <sighs> and there's a hyperventilation that you get very lightheaded. I mean, really lightheaded from. So there's that kind of thing, you know, it's a very physical job. That must be such a tense day of work. Well, it's a tense weeks, often weeks of work, yes. You broke a rib, I wanna hear about that, what oh, happened? Oh please, you know. I mean, I'm just saying, you, this is what happens. You bash into each other and you get hurt. Do you remember what moment in those scenes it was? I actually that? think it was when she falls off the roof. Did you do that for real then? Part of it, absolutely. That's so intense. I also hung under a helicopter 250 feet over water by a wire on the movie True Lies, which was the great one of the greatest thrills of my entire life. But that must be quite unusual for an actor to do no, that much physical. No, everybody does it. What about the stunt men and women? They do a lot. They do the big stunts where truly you can break limbs and get seriously hurt. But any good movie, the actors have to be doing it. Judy Greer, in that, that last sequence, we had stunt people there. So do you guys have to do much physical training for those sequences? You know what, you don't. And it's sprinting. It's a big, movies are sprints, because there's a lot of waiting around. A lot of waiting around. And then there's a lot of waiting, and then somebody goes, and action, and you're now running as fast as you can or fighting as hard as you can. Cut! And then you stop. <sighs> you're exhausted. And then you wait while they change a camera setup or something. It can often be a half an hour. So it's uh, movies or sprints. The movie's terrifying, but yes. there's a lot of funny moments as well in it. But isn't that most great scary movies have to have moments of relief and release of humor. Joni Mitchell said in that song, laughing and crying, you know it's the same release. It is that. People like to scream and laugh and let it out. It's just the release of pent up tension. I'd love to know what your funniest memory from filming was. I gotta tell you, this movie wasn't funny. For me, this movie was very emotional. It was not a movie where I would remember funny things. I remembered loving, kind things. I, my entire crew on this one night, I had to do this very difficult scene by myself. The entire crew, every single person, 130 people, all wore name tags that said, we are Lori Strode when I approached the set. Because what they were saying to me as a group, it was our last night together actually, was that they were with me and that they believed her the way we're now asking people to believe our stories, that they were with me as I was about to go relive Lori's past by myself in a truck. And it was incredibly moving. Wow. Um, so those memories I have, my crew standing there wearing We Are Lori Strode stickers as I had to remember what happened to Lori Strode on film. It was th those things. It's not funny. It's deeply emotional and very powerful. I mean, what a unique experience. I mean, who would have thought that a uh, film in a horror movie would be so relevant to events going on now? You know what? It's art imitating life. It is the miracle of creation that it was somehow in the ether. How about Wonder Woman? It was in being made two years ago, two and a half years ago, and then it came out in the middle of all of it 
women taking back power. Um, you know, this was written way before Me Too. Women are finally telling the truth of their experiences and in the telling releases the prison of silence and gives them power and it's exciting to be a part of it. Laurie in this movie is like a military like machine by this point. You know what, she's a middle-aged, she's a 60-year-old woman. I don't know how much of a military machine. She got flabby arms and I don't think she's, she's not a, I mean, she's prepared. I mean, she's had so much training. I mean, I would love to know if you'd be want to do a big action movie or a big superhero movie. I did the biggest action movie I'll ever be in, which was called True Lies, which again was funny. Nobody wants to see me like a robot because I'm human and people know I'm human. So I'm very happy that I represent humanity versus any sort of, um, you know, um, galvanized idea of people.